All right, this video will wrap up the carabiner shuttle pin barrel. And in order to do so, we just got some small interior detailing that we have to take care of on our, on our part. And that's going to involve doing a couple more operations. With that, we're then going to go ahead and take a look at one of our uh, sides here. And we're going to look at lofting and creating some inter internal support. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at creating a sketch on uh, off of the, actually I'm going to do an offset, and from this plane here, I'm going to offset that by 1.550, which will be right at the end, or the start of our loft, which is where we want to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch here on that work plane. Now, in order to go through and to get that to, be, to happen, I'm going to look at creating two lines, and I'm going to create like this L, L kind of pattern here. So and I'm going to do something like this. Now, these lines, so you'll notice the openings here, I've got this line right here and this one. And I'm going to do a collinear constraint between this vertical line and this vertical line on this opening. This horizontal line will be collinear with this horizontal line on this opening. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of extend these lines up and out but I'm going to go ahead and click the P key to project, and I want to project the circles and the edges of this part. So really I want to get this inside edge too, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say OK. So now I've got some different portions here to look at. All right, so I can also grab and shorten these lines so that way they come in contact and stop at the circles. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. Next phase will be to go ahead and to take a look at the top. So I'm going to create another sketch, but I'm going to just click the top. And when I do so, I'm actually going to go ahead and let me finish the sketch. Actually, I think I, I, I need to go through. I'm, let me delete uh, that last sketch. Actually, we need this inside face. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and, create, and then click Create Sketch. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a very similar thing, except for I'm going to have the lines from my previous sketch, I'm just going to trace over them. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead and project especially these inside lines here, or this inside circle there. And I'll say OK. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose the loft command. With the loft, I want to choose this and this. So these two profiles here to make this kind of like arc with the two, like almost like a quadrant. And then on this sketch, I'm going to end up choosing this smaller portion right here because as this lofts up, it's going to choose, it's going to have the exact same shape. Now it's going to want to go through and try to cut this. We're going to want to join. And then that way, when we join these together, you're going to get this internal shape that's going to go through and get generated by our portion. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. There will be our kind of part there. So now let me go ahead and create a circular pattern. Choosing our loft that we had. We want to rotate around the axis, and we want to create four of these, and we'll say OK. Now, here you'll see on the inside, there's our structural component right there. Our last part will be we're going to create these like little uh, kind of grooves or something like that to kind of hold the, the part in. So in order to do so, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to create a sketch on this face and in order to really sketch this well I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and I'm going to create a rectangle from this corner and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw it in like so. Dimension wise the from the end of the rectangle to here the longest portion this is going to be a 0.5 and then the thickness of the 
rectangle itself is going to be a 0 0.02. And now I can go ahead and hit finish sketch. I'm going to extrude. This extrusion should be a 0 0.04. And then I'm going to go ahead and fillet the edge here. And this is also going to be a 0.04 as well. So now there's our little grooved edge there. In order to finish this out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose under create. I'm going to choose the mirror option. And I want to change to features. I want to choose the last extrusion and I want to choose the fillet down here at the bottom. And then I ch change my mirror plane. I'm going to mirror across this plane here so that way I get the exact same thing on the opening on the other side. So now there's my two uh, grooves that hold that in. And I'm going to create another circular pattern choosing the extrusion and the fillet and the mirror and I'm going to go ahead and choose the green axis we need to have four of those patterned around which we will see soon to show up saying okay and now each one of our openings has those groove portions being set in there and this will go through and conclude the barrel of our carabiner shuttle pin. Let me go ahead and right click on the physical material, right click on the component name in the browser, we can choose that and let's choose our plastic material. And we will go ahead and apply our white appearance. I'll throw gray on there for right now. Let me duplicate and I will edit. So this is gray one. We will call this white and then I'll just drag this up here in the corner and then set that on there all right this video concludes how to create the barrel of the carabiner shuttle pin and go ahead and make sure you have this saved in your project the next video will take a look at creating the sub-assembly for the main barrel and parts, and then the final steps will be the top portion.